Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mr. and Mrs. Minecraft. It's Picky here, and um, today, in today's episode, <laughs> uh, I was thinking that we should decorate the dojo a bit. Why am I going around this way when my wife's built a perfectly good bridge? Where um, I need to grow some sugar cane and cactus and things like that, so <laughs> these things are there just for that purpose. But um. Yeah, the wife's finished off this um, this bridge area. Um, curves around here. We're not linking up there because that's not going to be our house or a house that we live in long term. She's doing a project up here um, to do with her house. Um, I, I think she's trapped between two minds and thinking of what to do. But anyway, you can see that on her video. But yeah, uh, she's built this bridge through here. I like all the overhang glowstone to light it up. And she's built a path out here, and I can build a dirt road towards Zidojo. But on today's episode, I want to decorate the inside. I've got the materials I need. So let's begin. Uh, let's see, I want the enchantment table. Right there. And the bookshelves go dun 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 dun. And that doesn't give you 30, does it? No. Uh, what do I need to do? Um, did I even make enough? I don't think I did. One, two, three. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to make one more of that side just to just to even things out. Um, now let's see, do I have a workbench? No, I don't. Crappers. Um, let's. I don't know whether I want the grass blocks or not, but let's just try this first with trap doors. A douche, a douche. Do I like the grass there or not? Now that actually won't grow a tree. Will it? <laughs> hmm. I want to actually get like um. I th I'm pretty sure I said when I built this um the the t -t 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 the little plants from the uh d -d 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 God I'm going so brain dead <laughs> the um swamp biome they look a lot like uh those bonsai trees but at the moment. I just want to decorate this at the moment, get something in there, so enchantment table and I need to, I need to make chests, so I need come on, there's gotta be one little Ah there we go. Uh do 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 I dish think I might need a little bit more. Yeah, also what I want to plan to do in this episode is catch some villagers. Because uh, we want diamond armor. Caving just takes too long to grab the stuff. I want to enchant the pickaxes and stuff like that with um, with good enchants. And the, we just go through iron quickly. Like I was thinking of building an iron golem farm, golem farm. I think I'll do that down the track. But, um, but yeah, I think the villagers would be first priority. Now, we have tried to... Um, I'm going to need more. Uh, we've tried to find a jungle biome here. Um, we don't want to load up too much the, of the terrain because uh, of the upcoming updates with 1.8, I believe. That's going to have, um, you know, new blocks and things like that. So we don't want to generate too much terrain around us. So we went into a creative world um, just to fly around, try and look for bio, uh, jungle biome in particular. And, um, yeah, we, <laughs> we can't find one. We're struggling to. Um, we did find a mesa biome and we built a portal there so we can collect clay. Um, but, but that's like, man, a crap load of blocks away. <laughs> uh, I think it was 15 or 150,000 blocks in one direction. There we go, you can put enchanted books, weapons there. Uh, do I put anything there? 
yeah, you know, just just have a lot of storage for enchanting books because once the update comes, it's going to be all much better to enchant stuff, and books will you know be a high priority. So I'm going to make make another bookshelf there just to balance it all out. And yeah, so pretty much this is what it's going to be. Enchanting, no no creepers can come and get you. Looks pretty good. Like I said, a little blue um, plant from the uh, swamp biome would look really good there. But yeah, so this is pretty much what it's going to look like. I did experiment a bit with the floor, looking at patterns. I may come back to to that. I'm just very picky eh, with um, with how that all looks. But before it gets to night time, which it's afternoon, let's head on over here. Whee. And um, make a little mini, just a box to keep um, the zombie villagers. As you see, I've got potions and apples ready. And we'll just make a simple... I want to actually breed them in here too. Just a simple... Um, just a simple square, just to... Whoop, keep them in and no mobs to kill them and let's put torches down one two three four one two three oh yep that will light up one two three right one two three four one two three four there we go that's plenty of light for them so nothing will spawn in here And there we are. Just make sure. Yep, eight, eight, yep, no sevens, we're good. Make an exit, yeah, and make an exit, yeah. So I can lead them in, trap them. What if I get two? Hmm, we'll deal with things on the fly. <laughs> but um, also, one thing I've got to mention whilst the sun goes down, me and the wife have turned back on um, health regen. Um, it was just getting a little frustrating, and um, in the end, we just we thought that, you know, if this was a server with other peoples, which we're still considering making it, um, then we would do it with other people on there. But when it's just us, it, it just becomes frustrating when we're trying to build something and we die. I've died like eleven times. <laughs> Um, a couple have been, I've lost a lot of good stuff like fortune pickaxes and things like that with lava walls caving and it, 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 it's frustrating but I'd die anyway even without their um, health regen on in that situation but yeah me and the wife had a little argument <laughs> one day as well and she killed me a couple of times. I had no armor on I may add. So here comes nightfall now and let's try and find a zombie villager. Ooh. Houston, we have a zombie villager. Okay, come with me, sucker. You now work for Mr. and Mrs. Minecraft. Yeah, there was a village way over there, but I thought it was going to be too much of a hassle to bring a village all the way over here in a minecart or something. rather. So, yeah, I thought it was just easier doing it this way, which, come on, let's face it, it is. Ooh, a couple of skeletons over there. Come on. Come on. Ooh, let me get the stuff ready. Um, that goes there, and that goes there. Come on, sucker. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Splash. Eat it. Oh god, I hate that noise. And you are now locked away. Okay, so we have our zombie villager. Hmm. I wonder if I should make room for another one. I should, but it's dangerous to do it while there's a zombie in there, isn't it? 
Hmm. What to do? I can always just add a small a small uh, smaller area for the for another one. If I get lucky to whoops spot another one in the same night. Get out of that. I'm just doing it really quickly so I can get back out there. How about I make it jump up? Um, jump up by two. Fall in. And then I block it off. Okay, let me get stuff ready and we'll go looking for another one if we can in the, sa in the same night. Halfway through the night. Yeah, so that one night, guys, I was only able to catch one zombie villager. And has he turned? Oh, yep. Where'd he go? Hmm. Let's go in from the top. Uh, just a regular villager. Oh, we can get shears. My wife's going to be happy. <laughs> uh, let me just peel her out of here. There we go. See you later, sucker. So, yeah, I've got this other way set up for the next um, zombie villager that I'll try and catch in the next night. What I'm planning to do... Do Oz. You know how there's um other t there's tutorials on there. Ooh, my wife's here. Hey, baby. <laughs> um, you know how there's tutorials on you know a little bit like what's it called villager breeding um tutorials and all that. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. <laughs> reference um yeah there, there's tutorials of building something above the where the villagers are and that way <laughs> um that way they will breed infinitely and all that but you know this isn't infinite but you know you, you're not gonna want fifty thousand villagers all in there and if you do you know well then do it that way but um if you just surround doors around them it i think it's um to every three doors it's a zombie villager uh, a zombie villager a villager i believe maybe four i'm not sure about the maths exactly but uh when we get two in there there'll be enough doors for two two and an extra one to breed i'm going to surround it like this with um doors and also a good thing to do is just um block them off um, because I find that zombies will get attracted to the villagers in there and then they'll break down the doors one by one the, if you're playing on hard which we are um, so yeah to avoid the doors getting broken just build a barrier around the doors the villagers will see this as a village and they'll get love making so um, before I end the episode I'm gonna catch one more villager just to see just to let you guys see what it turns out to be and then I'll let them, you know, begin their romantic life together in this box. <laughs> and then they're gonna be they're gonna be just our sex slaves. <laughs> that that that's that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong, but um for our entertainment purposes only, not <laughs> I just better I'll just I'll just be quiet and then at the next scene you'll see what the next um zombie villager uh turns out to be so i will be right back Ooh, and there we go Ooh, books oh dang it <laughs> okay guys um i hope you like this episode um if you liked it leave a like and um hey wifey and um, 
I will catch you guys in the next episode. Ciao.